Hi, this is Stuart Cooper, and the day's date is July 15th, 2022. And today I'm going to share with you a strategy to help make that home that you're looking at purchasing more affordable. Now, let's face it, over the last couple of years, we've seen we've seen home values increase, we've seen interest rates raise dramatically, and so the affordability of buying a home has gone up quite a bit. So today I'm going to share with you a strategy on how you can combat that and get your payment lower. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, so the strategy that I was, I was talking about is called the seller buy-down strategy. And by far, this is a fantastic strategy, especially in how the market is setting up right now because you know home values are, are, are still very high, interest rates are very high, but we're starting to see the inventory stay on the market a little bit longer. So now there's an opportunity where we didn't have it over the last couple of years because let's face it, sellers were giving zero concessions. They weren't reducing sales prices because they didn't have to, but now things are changing. So this is, this is a strategy that's gonna really come into play and I think it's going to be huge because it does a couple things. Because right now the affordability is so is so hard right now for buyers. Anything we can do to get the payment more more affordable is going to be definitely a benefit. All right. So let's just go through this. So I'm using a purchase price of 1.5 million, but you know what? This works in all markets. So if the high market, if the price range is four hundred thousand dollars, it's the same strategy. It has the same benefits. So don't don't get distracted by the sales price because it has nothing to do with this. It's just that's just my market. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through this, and it's going to become really apparent in a minute. So we're going to say your typical purchase price right in this area is about 1.5 million, 20% down, and the loan amount's $1.2 million. Current interest rates 4.625%, which gives you a total mortgage payment of principal, interest, taxes, and insurance of $7,919.67. So that's based on a $1.5 million purchase without asking for any kind of concessions or sales price reduction. Typically what you see when houses have been on the market for a while, you might see the, the seller reduce the sales price. And so in this illustration, what I did is I took a, I took a price reduction of $24,000 and everything else stays the same, 20% down, loan amounts a little bit lower, interest rates the same, payments $7,792.96. So it's a savings of roughly about $126 a month over the full asking price. So that little bit of a concession helps a little bit, but you can see um, not dramatic, right? $126 on a $7,900 payment is not, is not huge. And that's where this rate reduction kicks in, and this is what we do. So instead of asking for a, a reduction in the, in, the, in the value of the home or the sales price, we're asking for a, um, we're gonna ask for a seller concession to buy down the interest rate. So what we're gonna do here is I, we have, leave the purchase price alone, 20% down, a loan amount's still gonna be $1.2 million, but now the interest rate is now 3.875, so it's a full three quarters of a point lower, and the benefit of that is gonna become very apparent real quickly. So now the payment drops down to 7,392.84, so that's your total principal interest tax insurance payment, but look at the takeaway. So when you, when you went with a simple price reduction, you were saving $126 off for full price, or with this strategy, you're saving 526. 83 or about $400 additional savings just by because by even though you're paying the full price for the house the interest rate is so huge that it's, it's actually lowering your monthly payment by an additional $400 so that's the big takeaway is it, it, it makes it more affordable to buy that property now if you wanted to keep that payment the same you'd have to offer you'd have to reduce the sales price to so 1 million 371 914 or about almost one hundred twenty nine thousand hundred thirty thousand dollars lower reduction in price so it's all about affordability and getting into that house. So you can see how the rate reduction has a huge benefit. And the other good takeaway on this is typically the points are tax deductible. So even though the seller is, is contributing to the points, um, usually the buyer will get the benefit of that tax deduction. It will have a better better write-off on their on their tax returns because it's part of the closing cost. But definitely double check that with your CPA. And not only that is when you use this strategy, maybe you're a buyer that you're looking at a home and the home is just a little bit out of your price range. By using this strategy, it might you might actually be able to afford it and get it, get it because I I've used this strategy for the strict purpose of getting borrowers qualified to be able to buy the property because the ratios are too high. And by using this strategy, it was able to lower the payments. So I hope you can see the, the, the advantages of doing this. But definitely what you want to do before you make an offer on a property, you want to talk to your loan officer and get the breakdown of what the costs are. So when you make that offer, you know exactly what you're asking for because you don't want to go in this blindly. You want to know exactly what buying the rate is going to cost and how much you are so you know how much to ask for if you decide to use this strategy. And of course, if you have any comments or anything, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you and answer any questions you have. But do me a huge favor. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Hope you guys have a great week. Thank you.